Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? From here, we can cross multiply from here, and then we have this as over 1 as well. Then, when this multiply 1 is t 5 raised to power x minus 10 raised to power x, and which is equal to 1 multiplied by this, it will still be the same thing. Yeah, square root of 50 raised to power x minus 100 raised to power x and then from here let's remove the square root here and introduce square on both sides so we square both sides here now the square on this side also we square this side and the square will cancel square root here and this side will give us 5 raised to power x minus 10 raised to power x all squared then equals to this side will still remain 50 raised to power x minus 100 raised to power x and from here let's represent this 5 raised to power x and 10 raised to power x with the letter then from here we let's let a be equals to 5 raised to power x and let b be equals to 10 raised to power x then we can also write 50 in terms of a and b that is 50 raised to power x is simply written as 5 raised to power x times 10 raised to power x because this base we multiply and the power you know will be taken out that's 50 raised to power x and this is simply a multiplied by b which is a b so we can call this a b now we can say 50 raised to power x is a b also 100 can also be written 100 raised to power x we can also write that as 10 raised to power x times 10 raised to power x which is uh, equals to b times b and b times b is b squared so b is 10 raised to power x and we can say 100 raised to power x is b squared then from here let's now rewrite this equation in terms of a and b so we can say this is a minus b square so we have a minus b square we have a minus b squared all squared then equals to this gives us 50 raised to power x minus 100 raised to power x will be ab minus b square. So this gives us ab minus b square. Then let's take everything to one side, that is to the left, and this will become a minus b all squared, then minus ab plus a becomes a become minus then plus b squared minus b squared come here become plus then equals to zero then from here we have a minus b all squared it means a minus b multiplied by a minus b that is a minus b squared then from here let's factor b out we have minus b out then what is left here is a then minus b left inside here then equals to zero then from here we have a minus b common we factor one out that's a minus b out then times a minus b left here then minus b left here equals to zero then we can also simplify and this will be a minus b multiplied by a minus 2b which is equals to zero we have two cases we have a minus b equals to zero or we have a minus 2b equals to zero from here we have a is equals to b and from here we have a equals to 2b and then we represented a as 5 raised to power x and b as 10 raised to power x so let's substitute that here so we have a that is 5 raised to power x equals to b which is 10 raised to power x 
Then we can solve on this side and uh, we divide both sides by 10 raised to the power x. Divide this side as well by 10 raised to the power x. And uh, 10 raised to the power x will cancel out here. Then from here, then this, we can write it as 5 over 10 all raised to the power x. The power of x is common. Then equals to 1. Then from here, let's change this one as well to 5 over 10 raised to the power 0. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So we have 5 over 10 raised to the power x. Now equals to 5 over 10 raised to the power 0. And then we have same base now as 5 over 10. So we can equate the power here. And x is therefore equals to 0 from here. Then also on this side, we substitute the value of a and b. From what we have, we represented a as 5 raised to the power x and b as 10 raised to the power x. So 5 raised to the power x now will be equal to 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power x. Also from here, divide both sides by 10 raised to the power x. And uh, this side by 10 raised to the power x. 10 raised to the power x cancel out here. So we have 5 over 10 raised to the power x equals to 2. We can reduce this as 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 2 raised to the power x equals to 2. And also we can rewrite this to in form of 1 over 2. That means we take reciprocal of that and we balance it by raising it to power minus 1. So we have 1 over 2 raised to the power x will be equals to 1 over 2 raised to the power minus 1. This one will still give us back 2. So we have same base here. Then we can equate the power x equals to minus 1. So we have another value of x here to be minus 1. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And see you next class. Bye for now.